I'm giving you a kitchen tour. For right now, I feel like I'm pissed, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. If you're new here, feel absolutely welcome and feel free to subscribe in case you haven't. So guys, today I have decided that I'm going to come Kunji and you are definitely coming with me. I'm going to get some new kitchen wares and I don't know what exactly I'm going to get, but whatever catches my eye, that's what we're going to go with. And I also have a budget. Let's see if whatever stuff that I'm going to get meet my budget guys stay tuned and i don't know if i'll be able to film around kamkunji but if it's gonna be inside a mall i'm definitely gonna catch some footage for you and if it's not gonna be inside a mall definitely not guys because you already know what nairobi has become right now i don't want to lose my phone so guys come with me and let's see how this goes <laughs> welcome back so i am finally back from kamukunzi and i am going to show you all the stuff that i got from there and i am gonna give you details on the prices and the shops that i got all this stuff from nimob guys there are a lot of stuff so i'm going to give you the details of the shop so that if you want to you can check them out and guys, I got these stuffs from two different shops. The first shop, Ilikoya Maboy. One of them is called Brio. That's all I can remember. And the other shop, Ilikoya Mademoawili. One is called Esther. And the other one is called Stacy. So guys, I'm going to leave their contacts below so that you may contact them whenever you visit Kamkunji. So guys, stay tuned and let's get down to the video. So first, I'm going to start with all the stuff that I got from Brio's shop. And then later, we'll continue from the stuff that I got from Esther and Stacy's shop. Yeah. The first item is going to be this fridge organizer, guys. So beautiful and it's big in size. Um, I've been seeing this online guys and I thought Nikienda Kamukunji it was gonna be way cheaper but I was wrong because online you can get this at 1400 shillings 14 or 15 depending on where you buying it from but from Kamukunji I got this at 1200 shillings okay which is not very cheap actually and then the next item is gonna be this food truck right here so this is what I've been using here. It's a plastic one, but I decided to get this because I saw someone advertising it online. And this person said that she got this rack at 300 shillings. And guys, to my surprise, when I got there, they said this rack is 600 shillings. So they gave me a discount of 100 shillings. So I got this rack at 500 shillings, which is not quite cheap as i expected next is gonna be this um jazz i've always wanted to buy this jazz guys because i've been seeing online everyone is getting the jazz the spice jazz i don't know if you've seen them guys these ones so guys here is what happened i got this jazz from brian's shop and I also visited Esther and Stacy's shop and they had the jars, but they were selling them. Uh, they were going at 3,800 shillings per dozen, which has 12, 12 jars, right? And then it comes with an organizer. So I only wanted to get the organizer, but they refused to sell me the organizer only so they want me to buy the 12 jars and the organizer which i couldn't so i opted to get this jars from briar shop um i got how many i got seven of them guys they 
are seven and they are made of glass so cute guys right so cute so i got one at 280 shillings so you can you can do your math 200 times seven 280 times seven yeah there you have it and then i decided to get these stickers i hope you have seen what they do with these stickers so you stick here you put a sticker here and then you use this pen to write whatever you want to write if this spice is for black paper you can write black paper here on this sticker and then stick here okay so maybe i can demonstrate how it works because i haven't even tried and then i got these stickers at 300 shillings it comes with a pen okay and then we have 80 stickers 80 pieces okay so we are going to do a demo yeah like this you just remove and then you stick like that you see that's how it works and then you take this pen and then you write on it if it's salt you just write salt like that you can see that guys right so that's how it works if it's salt sugar and you can just you can rub and maybe write something else can you see that guys i wrote salt okay that's how it works so that's all for the jars and the stickers okay next item i got is this remote organizer guys i've been throwing my remotes around like they're all over the place so when i came across this i decided why not get one you know yeah i don't know where this is supposed to go though i really don't know but i'm gonna figure out i don't know where this is supposed to go maybe it's just there yeah so guys i got this remote at how much was it was it 600 oh i think it's 600 guys if it's not 600 it's 500 that's how much no it's 600 i got this remote at 600 shillings and i'm not complaining yeah so another thing i got from Briar's shop is this silicone utensil set hope you can see it yeah let's see how they look inside guys the ladies are in a chafua nyumba So this is the tin. That's how it looks. Yeah. So this is a kitchen set. If you are using non-stick um, sufurias, you already non-stick. How do we call them? Non-stick cookwares. You already know what these are used for guys i cannot start naming one by one but you'll already understand what these are and i got this set at 1800 shillings yeah so last item that i got from brio shop and guys uh they forgot to pack me something there's something that i i bought and they forgot to pack it for me and i am so pissed right now because i don't know when i will go to town again but i might find someone to send and get them for me okay guys i think this is the first set that i spotted when i walked in they are so beautiful guys so beautiful and then let me tell you something guys i bought this stuff it comes with a bag so cute right very very cute 
so i bought these stuff and left them at briar shop and i paid mind you and then i went to esther and stacy's shop when i came back to pick them i found out that briar had sold them because i don't know what he was thinking because he thought i'd gone far so he sold everything that i'd bought and then they had to bring them from the store again so i had to wait i got so mad and this is the reason why they forgot to pack for me a plate rack that i had bought so i'm not very happy about it yeah guys guys you can bear me witness that if you go to the supermarket and try to get this dish it's it's like um it's a glass okay it's glass all glass except for the lids the lids are plastic if you go to the supermarket right now and try to get this dish trust you me you won't get it at less than uh let's say 600 shillings or this one i think this one goes for like 400 or something one one piece okay and then i got all these four i got the four of them they come like one the bigger one and then two smaller ones and then this one right here is plastic four pieces but guys this plastic is not like a normal plastic um the quality is very nice the quality is very very nice guys very nice and i really don't know what i'm going to use all these containers for but i'm definitely gonna find something okay maybe let's say storing food in the fridge and stuff like that they're gonna help me in that and then guys it comes with this kabag which is very cute um i got this set at 1400 shillings which is quite affordable right guys I didn't even hesitate to buy these ones because I thought 1400 was a good deal, right? Yeah. So guys, I guess that's it for stuff that I got from Briar's shop. And now I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got from Esther and Stacy's shop. Stay tuned. The first item that I got from Stacy and Esther's shop is this cutlery rack. I have bought so many of these and I keep replacing them. I don't know why, but this time I decided that I'm getting this one and I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it, but it's not gonna be for too long before I get another one. And then I got these dishes. Oh, I got this rack at 250 shillings, guys, from Stacy and Esther's shop. And then, oh my god, I really, really loved these ones. Guys, I normally buy stuff that I don't know what I'm going to use them for. But, oh god, I really loved these containers. But for this one, I know I'm going to to store my, my Rico cubes in here. This is gonna be... I know I might store my Rico cubes in here because the container that I have right now for Rico cubes, hi Bambi guys, hi Bambi. So I got these two containers. Each was going at three hundred shillings. Yeah, they gave me at three. They were they were going at three fifty, but I bargained and they decided to give me at three hundred shillings each, which I found very very affordable, guys. And then, guys, I bought this jar. I feel like it's peer pressure for real because I've seen so many people buying these jars and storing spaghetti inside. Guys, if you've ever visited me, you already know that I'm not a spaghetti person and I really don't like them. I eat them, but I don't like them so much. So I have never bought spaghetti in my house but because of this jar i'm going to buy spaghetti and store inside here so this is a spaghetti jar i hope you've seen people doing that online but for me i feel like it's just peer pressure nothing more and 
oh god guys these people these people uh -uh. guys now here is the thing and this is now pissing me off so bad because i bought these oil jars i bought two of them from a star and stasis shop now i'm just seeing one i'm only seeing one jar there's no other one guys this is not nice to be honest to be honest i bought two of them and right now i can find only one so um oh sorry i got this jar at 950 shillings and i got this one at 450 shillings they were supposed to be two but right now i can only find one which i'm not happy about i got this one at 300 shillings um i don't know what i'm going to use it for right now i feel like i'm pissed guys and i got this one at 150 shillings this one is meant to go to the sink to avoid the blockage i got these spoons they are cute right very very cute guys they are a set of six and i got all these at 350 shillings and i got this organizer at 350 shillings as well no 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 i got this one at 400 not 350 and then i got this at 450 shillings as well and then i got this chopping board it's cute right i have a chopping board but i just decided to get this one i got this one at 300 shillings it's cute right very very cute and then um uh oh i got these hangers this one's right here these are meant to hang trousers yeah so i got each at 300 shillings so both of them go for 600 shillings and then i got this tray this is meant to store eggs i don't know if you can see clearly guys there is a lot of stuff on this table yeah i got this tray at 700 shillings i really don't mind at all because it's more than guys it's more than you can store your eggs inside there and then you can just cover them like that you see guys very very cute no cap. i guess guys no 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 and this one this tray guys i bought this tray because i wanted to organize these ones So this is the reason why I bought this tray because I want to organize my spices like that you see this is the actual reason as to why I got this tray and then last but not least from Esther and Stacy's shop I got this one and I bought this one because I want to be storing my cooking flour inside here and I got this this container at 250 shillings so guys that's all I got from Kamukunji and I definitely am going to do a video on how I'm going to arrange everything and y'all gonna see how everything's gonna turn out so i'm going to replace all the stuff that i have at the moment and we'll see how this goes and the stuff that i love the most is this one here because i'm not going to be storing my oil in a bowl anymore because normally i just use a bowl and a spoon 
when I'm while I'm cooking, you know. So this is gonna be easy. You just put your oil inside here, and then you just open like that, and then pour like that. Okay. So it's gonna make everything easier. So I got this in black and white. So they did not pack the black one, and I wanted the black one for vinegar, which they did not pack. I feel like I'm pissed, but I'm going to call them in a moment and tell them they did not pack it for me so that maybe they can send someone or I can pick it up when I go to town. Yeah, so guys, that's it for the Kamkunji haul and I'm going to leave every detail below, the contact details so that you can contact them and see what you can get for yourself. Thank you so much guys for watching and... I'm definitely gonna do a video on how my kitchen turned out and stay tuned for that guys I know I promised a house tour but guys I'm still working on this house until everything is where I want it to be you're gonna wait guys but it's coming soon guys very soon so I just wanted to deal with the kitchen first and then next I think it's gonna be the bedroom or the sitting room and then guys you're gonna get the house tour but very soon I'm giving you a kitchen tour okay it's not gonna be like the whole house but it's gonna be a kitchen tour so guys stay tuned and see you in my next video bye guys